Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can uh, create a custom permission level in SharePoint that will allow the users to view the information, to view the documents, but not being able to download them uh, locally on their computers. Uh, let me explain to you uh, the use case. So uh, let's pretend I am in charge of uh, human resources department and I have my HR site here. This is the employee facing site where I publish employee handbooks and policies and all that uh, other HR stuff. And uh, I don't want my users, I want my users to be able to um, view the information, but I do not want them to download that information uh, locally on their computers. Um, now, uh, let me show you first how, uh, what I have set up in terms of uh, site permissions. So, I am the owner of the site, owner of the department. I don't have any members and I have the rest of the organization as read only. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this read only privilege um, allows the users not just uh, to read the documents, but also to be able to download them. Uh, so as a matter of fact, I will show you, I'm logged in um, as Mary here. So Mary is part of that everyone group. So Mary has read only access uh, to the site. And as you can see, Mary can, um, you know, essentially download uh, any document, any folder, all right? Uh, not only that, uh, Mary can also sync the entire library. Uh, well, I don't want uh, any of this uh, to occur. Uh, and uh, essentially, uh, let me show you uh, how that is done. Now, there are uh, several different ways uh, to prevent uh, users from downloading uh, documents. However, uh, they uh, require uh, admin access uh, to the SharePoint uh, kind of environment. The technique I'm about to show you uh, works for site owners. So essentially, as long as you are the owner of your uh, site, um, uh, you can actually set up, um, you know, proper permissions uh, and prevent download uh, on your site level. Now, this technique uh, only works for visitors. So if you add somebody, let's say I have some colleagues within uh, the HR department, uh, part of HR, uh, if you are a member, then um, it, with edit access, uh, you will be able to download. There is no way to kind of prevent people from downloading documents using the te technique I'm about to show you. This only works for visitors, those users with read-only uh, permission. Uh, so let me show you um, how to set this up. Uh, so what we're going to do is essentially create a custom permission level. Uh, by default, as you probably already know, uh, we have three uh, groups, three permission levels, read only, uh, add, add, delete, and full control. We need to work on this group. We need to assign them uh, a, a little bit different permission level. So let's see how that is done. So for that to, to happen, uh, you need to click on gear icon, uh, site permissions. We need to go behind the scenes and we need to click on advanced permission settings. Uh, usually I don't encourage, um, you know, my clients, my users to go in here uh, because you can set up permissions from the, you know, modern interface front end, but uh, we are creating a custom permission level and we are required uh, to, to go in here. Um, so three groups, same three groups you saw before, and it kind of shows you what each one can do. These are the default, uh, you know, the three default permission levels. Uh, by the way, if you want to see what, um, you know, permission levels exist, um, this is what we have essentially at the site level. And the highest privilege is obviously full control. The lowest is read, but that's the thing. You can actually see it here you can view and download. So we need something uh, below that, right? We need something that will allow them to read but not download. So uh, let's make it happen. We uh, are going essentially to create a custom uh, permission level, uh, but uh, instead of creating a custom permission level because this might be a, a, a bit too much work for us, uh, let me show you a nice trick. Um, we, uh, we are going to take the existing permission level and we're going to tweak it slightly. So I'm going to grab a uh, click on the read uh, permission level. And essentially this is what, um, you know, where you check the boxes and uh, essentially this is where 
uh, you specify what this uh, permission level allows you or doesn't allow you to do. Uh, but let's, before we change things here, let's copy. We don't want to tweak, never tweak kind of the out of the box permission level, uh, create a copy. So we're going to copy that permission level and say copy permission level. And we are going to say read no download, all right? I'm going to name it just like that. So it's going to be a custom permission level. And uh, we, we want to leave everything as is in here. The only thing, the only checkbox we want to uncheck is this one, open items, all right? So essentially um, by unchecking this uh, box, um, you prevent people, they can still view, as you can see, this box was left, all right, as is. Uh, but by checking this box, uh, essentially we prevent people from downloading. This is essentially what it means. You prevent people from downloading the documents locally. That's the only change we need to make here. Don't, you know, we don't need to worry about anything else here. And we click create. So we just created our, uh, our custom permission level. Here it is. Uh, but we need to do now one more thing. We now need to assign uh, this permission level to this group because at the moment, uh, this group has a read uh, permission level. So we are going to tweak it. Uh, we are going to click the checkbox next to visitors. Uh, and we're going to say edit. And we can say read, but no download. All right. Uh, by the way, by the way, um, and this just happens, um, uh, you know, uh, happened uh, for a reason here, uh, just because of the type of site I have. Uh, sometimes you might already have uh, a permission uh, level uh, on your site that allows the users, um, you know, to view the documents but not download them. So in case if you already have uh, that uh, custom permission level, um, you know, kind of existing on your site, feel free to choose it. But we just created our own. Uh, let's click OK. And just like that, you see. So now let's go ahead and test it out. So on this browser, I am logged in as Mary. And remember, Mary is part of that everyone group uh, with uh, that special permission level we just created, read, no download. So let's have Mary navigate to that library. So the first thing you're going to see, uh, the sync button is gone. All right, so um, because obviously we prevent a download, uh, the user can no longer sync anything locally. The sync button is gone. Uh, but let's see now if, uh, let's say, uh, Mary tries to download a particular document or a folder. Um, three dots. Look at this. The download option is gone as well. So if she uh, tries to download the, the file or folder or even sync the entire library, essentially, uh, this is off limits for now. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you can easily achieve, I mean, there are use cases when um, you don't want users to download um, some important documents. You want them to view the policy, but you don't want them to maybe, you know, download it on the APC um, and do something else for those documents, right? So um, you can easily implement uh, this uh, technique. Once again, uh, this technique, the beauty about this technique is that uh, it uh, can be set up by any site owner. You do need to be the site owner to set it up. Uh, and it only the only downside is that it only, you have to kind of do it uh, on a side-by-side -side basis. And another thing to consider is that this technique only works for uh, those with, uh, with visitor access. All right. Um, in the future, uh, I plan to record additional videos uh, on my channel and show you some additional ways to block download where uh, you can actually block it uh, globally uh, to uh, the the entire you know kind of company uh, and deploy it globally uh, and uh, also prevent uh, even regular members from downloading documents uh, as well, not just visitors. Uh, but that will be uh, some other video. But for now, thank you very much for watching my video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMavid.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.